Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how you can get the KN44 gun as well as the Profit super fast or the quickest way to get it. So a lot of people have been asking me on stream. If you guys haven't checked me out on stream, what are you doing with yourself? Make sure to check me out. It's going to be in the description down below as well as in the comment. It is also the Hitman Live if you want to check it out. But they've been asking me, Hitman. How did you get the gun skin super duper fast? The gun and the skin is what I meant to say. The profit one as well as this one. So we're gonna show you guys how we did it. Obviously, if you guys have a bit of COD points, I got this via this, but if you wanna do like three pulls, it's probably the best way to try to gamble it. But as you guys will see, I'll show you guys on my loadout that I do actually in fact have both of them. I'm not just flexing. I'm gonna show you guys the profit skin that we just got. Uh, here we go, profit. We got them right here. And then afterwards, we also have the K9 or KN, I believe it's called. It should be all the way on the bottom. The free skin. So no ability. I hope they drop other ones. Uh, you know what? The best way to do this is just do assault rifles. And that way we can see it. And you guys will see I have it somewhere here. Here we go. We have it. Um, I don't have it, you know, obviously equipped because there's no point. I already have uh, the other one. But I'll show you guys. How I did it, I did it in less than like five hours. I took it took me two streams, but like small streams. I did three hours Wednesday or Thursday, and then two hours on whenever it came out. So I don't exactly remember the dates, to be honest with you guys. It might have been Thursday or Friday, whatever. I grinded it out. So let me go show you guys the events that you kind of have to do. Now, as you guys can see, I completed everything but the one one thing, and in my opinion, domination is the longest of all of them. You don't have to complete all of them. And also, you don't have to complete all of them for the KN. So if you want to specifically get the KN skin, it only requires, requires 70. So I'll tell you which ones you need to do if you want to get specifically only the KN. But if you want to get the full gun skin and this, the gun and the skin. I keep saying gun skin, but I meant gun and skin. This is what you're going to need to do. So if you're just trying to get the regular gun, let me recommend the fuse that you should do. First of all, the fuse that you shouldn't do is just play the 30 domination. So don't do the 30 domination. Don't do the 30 team deathmatch. Don't do the 30 front line. Altogether, that's going to give you about 36 points. Um, you don't actually, is it even 36? Yeah, 36 points. So you don't even have to do all of them. So just don't do those three and you'll have enough to get the 70 points. Some of them are a little harder than others. So obviously, in my opinion, the hardest one to get is the Hunter Killer Drone on front line as well as the um, the Sparrow on team deathmatch. Obviously, the other one's going to be easy. So we're going to go step by step. We're going to talk about what map you should play on, um, the best way to do it, what score streaks and everything like that. So, like I mentioned, if you're just trying to go for the KN, you don't have to do the 30s. You can do everything else but the 30s and you will automatically be able to get the 71. Now, let's just say some of them that are already gonna be easy to play. Obviously, play with 15 with friends, five matches with friends, uh, MVP five times, those are fairly easy. And obviously, I'm not gonna talk about domination really much because it's quite easy. It's 15 points to capture it, which is just play any domination games you want. You have to do the minimum of 10 games. In those 10 games, you should be able to capture 15. So you just want to get them as fast as you can. You want triple cap whenever you can. Obviously, you're going to be playing against more sweats. So if you're playing with friends, you want to do those domination games with friends. Now, in team deathmatch, this is where it becomes a little um, more solo-ish. So you don't want to be playing with friends because a lot of times your friends will be as good as you. So they will be getting more kills and you will not be able to get the Sparrow. When it comes to that, you want to be rocking specifically on, uh, where is this? Team Deathmatch. You want to play on the maps, either Cage or on Nuketown. I found personally that Nuketown is the easiest one because it is such fast pace. I think on average, I, I might even show a clip of it. We finish it in like four minutes. So in four minutes, you can finish a game so in about 20 minutes you can get five games out we'll say probably 45 minutes gets you 10 with other wait time so in 45 minutes you can complete one of them same thing for frontline you want to do team deathmatch frontline etc now for loadouts this is what i've been doing for um for all of this events i've been rocking not dead times because i was playing rank earlier before i was rocking this i was rocking hardline i was rocking toughness and I was also rocking lightweight. Honestly, if you want to take full advantage of this, you don't even need to take lightweight. You might want to take flat jackets. So you don't have a chance to die. The reason why hardline is important is because then you can get more points and you can rotate through your score streaks a lot faster. And also, some of the score streaks I'm going to talk about will help you get your sparrow because the team deathmatch wanted to get sparrows. So you'll see the score streak that we are rocking here. I was rocking the UAV Hunter Killer Drone, and I am not using the Predator Missile. I was actually using the 
care package just so you can rotate through your score streaks a lot faster than you would like. Care package can help out because you can actually pick up like um, some cool score streaks or kill streaks. Realistically speaking, you can even get the predator missile, which will help you get some kills to activate your uh, sparrow faster. Now, the important thing is, on average, you can get two kills with sparrow before dying. Realistically speaking, you want to get, I mean, optimi optimally, you want to get like four kills per game because you get four shots. But realistically, you're probably going to average about two kills per game with the sparrow. If you're lucky, you can get about five and it's only going to take you three. So the sparrow one is super easy to do if you're playing alone. If you're playing with friends, it is hard because your friends will get 11 kills, you'll get 11 kills, your other friends will get like eight kills, and you're not gonna get the sparrow in time, and you maybe one of you guys will get a sparrow. So do these solo to get those 15 sparrow kills. And then once you guys get all your sparrow kills, maybe you can start playing with friends, but you only need 15 games with friends, so definitely I recommend doing it for like the other game modes. Now, if you're gonna go play in Frontline, it's very similar to Team Deathmatch. So what I have found that the two best map, again, it's gonna be um, Nuketown or Kill House. Kill House is really nice because you can just keep sniping people from back and forth and then just launch a 100 killer drone. Same same score streaks, but I also like Nuketown a lot because you can kind of camp more or less when people spawn and laser them. So Nuketown is going to be faster, Kill House will be faster. They're both equally fast, about three to four minutes per game. And again, same loadout, same score streak. You don't even need the Sparrow. You can probably even go like War Machine or Hides or anything like that. But since you're already working on the same loadout, you might as well do that. Hardline is a must. I must confirm that. And then you have to use the same score streak so that you can get the 100 killer drone as fast as you can. Just keep throwing these 100 killer drones to get those 15 ones. And it's really annoying because half the time you're not going to actually get a kill because it's either going to aim for someone on the spawn. But that's really essentially it. So just to recap, it might be a, low, a, a, a shorter video and 100% sure, but those are going to be the fastest way to get it. It's going to have about... If you're, if you're fast and efficient, you can probably get this done in three hours to four hours. The longest one is obviously going to be the 30 games. The 30 games is going to be the hardest one. But if you play with friends, you can get those TDM matches, those frontline matches super fast. Once you once you collected these two right here, once you've done the 15 TDM Sparrow kills and the 15, uh, what's it called? Uh, I forgot the name of it. The Hunter Killer Drone, 10 Hunter Killer Drones, even easier, 10 Hunter Killer Drones. Then start playing with your friends, start stacking them up, get them hard and kill as fast as you can, as many people as you can, because you have to kill as, like, I don't, I don't even know if you're able to leave. I don't think leaving will help because um, you have to play it, and I'm pretty sure the system makes it that you can't, but once you do that, I might actually test it and we'll add a, a little quick errata at the end of the video, but like I said, actually, we can test it. We're testing it right now. See, so domination, I still need to finish how many dominations? We're at 16 domination games, all right? So if I do a domination game right now, will it make it will it automatically um, give me a point? So we had 15. If I leave this one, we'll see if we actually manage to get it. We'll just check it out just to confirm a little something. I don't think it's gonna work, but always good to know so that you guys can save a little bit of time to try to get all this. I believe people were leaving here. Oh, I got the glitch that uh, doesn't let me kill people. So I saw an enemy here, right? Let me just, uh, we're gonna we're, we're gonna try to get a kill first. So it kind of shows that we, we did get a gate. Where is you at? All right. I'm gonna wait till I die first. There's a guy here. That was a bot, 100%. Let's just get a person to pop up here again. I don't have my thumb sleeves on. Get that guy here. All right, so we died. Uh, let's just check to see if it, if, if, if it works. I doubt it. I highly, highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. We're just checking it out to see if it did work or not. If it did, that's going to save a lot of time for everybody. It's going to save so much time for the amount of people. Then you can just do the domination, go in and out. But I highly doubt that even works because it says play. We were at 15. Heavy shot. We are still 15. So you have to complete the game. So that is out of the conversation. But like I mentioned... Once you finish all the KN skins, to get the profit one, it's it's gonna be a little bit of a grind, but not too bad if you follow those steps that I did. Don't don't even bother focusing on the domination one. Those are just way too long. Again, TDMs will take you three to four minutes per game if you go on Nuketown, especially on Nuketown. Nuketown on both on TDM and Frontline, but I'm just letting you guys know this is the fast way you guys can get the KN as well as the profit skin. Just make sure you have Hardline like to to, to do the quick summary, right? Quick summary. Have hardline on. Have the rotation of three of the um, 
score streak. So I'm gonna show you guys. Let me actually have that loadout ready just to show you guys. All right, uh, we're gonna multiplayer real quick. Show you guys score streaks. So just make sure to have these three specific score streaks. These three specific score streaks right here, bang. Have hardline these specific score streak and play on smaller maps such as Nuketown, Kill House, or Cage. I recommend Nuketown on all of them, personally. That's how I did it. I did it in like about six hours, but I was streaming and then at the first the first stream we were playing with like subs and uh, you know, subs are good at the game. So they, they were actually, well, I wasn't able to get the Sparrow kill. So this way you could easily get in four hours. I'm Four hours, which is a lot, but for how long this should actually take you, this is going to be the easiest way to do it. And uh, don't focus about domination. Just get those domination out of the way at the end because you only need to capture the 15 points and then 10 games. That's going to be super easy. Play those with your friends. Those, those, those group together. So, yeah. With that, you should be able to get this beautiful profit skin over here. There you go. <laughs> over there. Uh, with the regular KN. So that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if this worked for you. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes, but you should be able to finish this by the time that this is over. Uh, I posted this maybe two days later, so some of you guys might already have this, but let me know how long it took for you guys to make it as well. If you guys want to see my latest video, it's going to be uh, after I finish this outro. And um, yeah. All right. I'm out to you guys next time. Kill it. <laughs>